Alright, so in today's video, I am going to be doing some organization of my kitchen cabinets. So we had recently installed new cabinets in our kitchen. We did a little bit of a uh, update, a renovation. So here you can see that the new cabinets, they've been installed onto the wall and they come with this plastic film so that during installation you aren't getting fingerprints and dirt and things like that onto the new clean surface. So here I just wanted to make some sounds with the peeling off of the sticky plastic from the wooden cap. that I have in here that I have different prescription medications that I probably should get rid of uh, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet but this right here, this is called Slow FE which is iron it's an iron supplement so I was taking this because I was having some issues with my iron and this kind is recommended by the doctor although I don't really like this 
organized in a certain way here. So this is a multivitamin. This is from that brand Ollie. I think it's sort of a newer brand. But they have a whole bunch of different types of supplements and vitamins. So these are gummies. another that's to try and assist with sleeping. This is from VIX or Z-Quil. There's no cold medication in it. It's just to aid in sleeping. See, it's these tablets. I'm putting all of the sort of supplements together over here to the right. This one here is another that I take myself. This is just a supplement for healthy hair, skin, and nails. So they are these little capsules. Okay. So I've tried all different brands of that type of supplement. I think I like those ones. These are more like jelly bean type um, supplements here. Okay, so I think that I didn't really enjoy the flavor of these ones as much. So here that looks nice with all of the prettier looking containers up in the front. Let's see. 
here we have some of the cold and flu and allergy type medications. This one here is coldies. So this one is just supposed to help to lengthen, or I'm sorry, shorten the duration of just a common cold. try anything when you're not feeling good. Okay, here I have some Robitussin. This is for chest congestion and cough. This one has honey. Just a syrup form. to the left. There's another for like a cold and congestion. This one is an Alka-Seltzer tablet for cold and flu. And these next couple are sprays for um, a sore throat. This one is chloroseptic. Just, uh, I guess I haven't opened this one yet. It's just uh, supposed to, you spray it in the back of your throat and it helps to relieve discomfort in your throat. And here's another. This is Zycam. This is another that's meant to help in shortening the duration of a cold. This one is Advil Sinus Congestion and Pain. These ones are tablets. Okay, 
here is NyQuil, this is from VIX. This is another that's for cold and flu. It's supposed to help you sleep better when you're not feeling well. these little capsules. And here's my favorite. These are Vicks Vapo Rob. So I have two. One is for adults and this one is more for babies. Don't have any babies anymore, but this one is just a little gentler scent. It still works pretty good. I love to use that. I think it really does help somehow when you have congestion that all over your chest and maybe under your under your nostrils there. I think that really helps. And these two right here are nasal sprays that are supposed to help with nasal congestion. I have two different kinds there. ones in the back here. some regular pain relievers. This is Advil or Ibuprofen. Liquid gels. This over to this side here. I would say that's one of the more common ones that we use. Uh, this is Bayer. This one I bought and never, never opened here. Then I have it just in case. Just put that one in the back. Don't really use a junior version of Advil. This is for adolescents. It's a pill form. I've always used the liquid form um, when the kids were smaller. And they do still use that, but I got this one when they got a little bit older. So it's um, chewable tablet form. And here I have the liquid form of the children's um, Motrin. Because I can still use this going by their age.
direction and one can go closer to the front. I think that one's used a little more often than the other medications. And here are just some lozenges for sore throat and all that congestion and all that fun stuff. This is one from Vicks. And here's another from Halls. They're just cough drops. And I have one more from Burt's Bees. This is honey and pomegranate flavor. medication is Depenhydramine, just a version of the CBS brand of that medication for different types of um, allergies or inflammation, any kind of allergic reaction, things like that. I think we've had to use that one very often either. I'll squeeze that in right there. Okay, now these last few here, these are ones that I had gotten on a trip to Mexico. I forget what was bothering me, but something was hurting. It might have just been a headache. So these are um, ibuprofen. And I have a few different um, boxes here. I'm not sure why I bought them. These ones are 800 milligram. I'm not sure that you can buy that dose over the counter in the United States. This one is um, another type that I had bought as a pain reliever. I wasn't sure which would help the most, I think, so I just bought a couple just to, just in case one of them didn't work so well. one more. It's uh, the same medication, just at a lower dose. These are 600 milligram ibuprofen. Okay. Just switch these around here. Alright, so that's all of the medications that I'm going to organize today. Now we can move on to the next drawer to organize. Okay, so now I'm going to be organizing some of the utensils for silverware. So I did get one of these um, drawer organizers specifically for utensils. So you can see that it's black and it's plastic. I did look at getting a wooden 
one because they're pretty but I liked that this one was black it sort of goes with some of the colors in the kitchen so and this one is uh, it's also expandable so you can see these sides here open up a bit okay okay so these little sides they do pull right off if you want to use them uh, you can just slide them right on there the other side also does the same But I am using this in a smaller sized drawer, so I'm going to leave it like this for now. And you can see here are some plastic dividers. And they just fit right into these little grooves here. So you can use all of them if you'd like and they just slide right in there or if you'd like to have a bit of a larger compartment maybe you could just keep one open which I might do because um, I think I have more of more spoons maybe and forks uh, but for now we'll just place them all in there and we'll see if it needs to be adjusted okay so i'm going to put this in the drawer and put the spoons and all that stuff away okay okay so here i've placed the organizer into the drawer and I only used two of the dividers we'll see how that works I'm going to start with forks so I'll put the forks on this side so I have sort of a couple different sets of forks and silverware because uh, you know you lose them so I'm not going to very neatly because they're not going to stay that way so um, you know you lose one fork here one spoon there somehow and so I think that I I'm not sure if I even bought all of these myself I think I just recently bought this set here with this style handle because I was low on forks and spoons so okay so let's see here's one more like that and then I have this one here is a smaller fork. This one here is even smaller. It's a completely different set. But we'll just throw that in there with those. And this one, it's a completely different color. I bought this one for a video. Thanksgiving table setting video that I did just 
wanted a set that looked more like fall colors. And then these ones are larger. I use these for like serving food more so. I'll put this one back here. And I have a couple of those. And one more. Okay. So now I will place the spoons over here. Okay, so as for the spoons, uh, just like the forks, I have some different sets, different styles. Here. So some are larger, more like tablespoon size. This one's more of like a teaspoon size. Like this one here. the set that I just recently bought. I don't know how utensils disappear from the house. I'm definitely going to blame it on the kids. Okay, so along with the uh, copper colored fork. Okay. And then I have these two spoons here. These are slotted spoons, more for serving. So I'll put these in the bag. So now for the knives. Okay, so I definitely have a lot more butter knives than I do of the other utensils. And I believe that is because I never use them. I mean, I do use them, but not as often as I use forks and spoons, so that's probably why um, I have so many of them, because none of them have ever gotten lost. Now I would like to probably get rid of some of them, because I just don't need so many butter knives. So let's see, I have different styles here. This one I think is pretty. I think I like that one the most. But they don't match. They have one fork that style. But that's it. Well, here's another like that. So this one is completely different, and I have no other knives that match this one, so I will just get rid of it. Okay, so some more that are matching. the match 
matching copper colored knife. Keep that one. I have this nice little butter knife. This one I think I do use more often. I have two of those. And again, they are not matching. I really don't know where I got any of these. And then I have this set of steak or cutting knives. I don't really use these too often either. Maybe I should put them in the middle. These ones are a little sharper. And I believe I have four of these. Okay, so I think we'll just leave this one like this for now. Okay. And I think I can move on to organizing some plates. Okay, so here is the cabinet where I will be keeping all of the plates and bowls. Well, mostly all of the smaller sized plates and bowls, not the larger serving sized bowls and plates. Okay, so I have a bunch of different sets actually. Um, I've just sort of collected them over the years, um, but I've never really purchased uh, a really nice set. You know, they break and things like that, so I kind of haven't really spent a lot of money on that. You can see I've already placed some things in the cabinet, but I'll just place the rest of them here. So this is a set here. This is a bowl just a small, like, you know, cereal bowl. I actually got this at a thrift store. Um, I just liked the green color around the rim there, and um, I realized they're from Martha Stewart stoneware. I've already broken one of these bowls. So I have three left. For now, I'm just going to place those bowls up here. I have one, two, and this third one you can see is chipped also. But hold on to it for now. So these will just keep right here unless I decide to move them. And along with the bowls, I got the larger sized dinner plates. Okay, so these I have a bit more. That I have one, two, three. 
five. sitting in the sink right now, waiting to be washed. So, for these I'm going to just slide them over for, for now, just to fit the other set. So these ones here I've had for a very long time. They are just clear plates. These were given to me by someone as sort of like a hand-me-down when I moved into my first apartment. So they're pretty old, but I like that they're clear, a little different. Pretty much match with anything. So they've lasted me a while. So I've got one, two, three, and four of those. Slide those over a bit. And to go along with both sets, I have these smaller plates. So I have I do have a few different sets of bowls. So these ones here, these are just plastic bowls. I got these from Target. And I just liked that they were this wide, uh, shallow shaped bowl. So it's sort of can be used as a bowl or as a plate, sort of. So, of course they're not really matching. Like I said, I have a bunch of mismatched uh, plates and bowls. going to put these over to the side for now. And I have two, 
deeper bowl, probably good for like cereal or something like that. So, I've got one and two of those. So, I think that's pretty good like this. I'm sure they will get moved around a bit. Uh, all of the ones toward the back we don't really use much. So I think we do use these green plates more and the clear ones in these bowls. I think we use all of these. Okay, so that's it. I think that will be all that I will organize today. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and thank you so much for watching.